I'm gonna get out here and take a little anti-coronavirus ride. So, uh, so what are we doing to avoid the coronavirus? Well, let's see. I've been washing my hands even more than usual, and that's what they tell us to do. Uh, I've been avoiding large crowds. Don't they suggest uh, to do that also? I've been doing that. But I can only stay cooped up in my house for so long. Uh, I guess what I'm going to do now, and uh, what better way to do it on a, on a motorcycle, I'm going to go uh, enjoy some social distance. What do they say? Keep uh, six feet between you and other people. Here, let's uh, let's hop on the freeway here. I'm gonna do one of my. We'll just do a short ride today. This is uh, one of my favorite routes here. I'll put my foot pegs down, shift gears, and away we go. It actually snowed last night in Elko, and uh, of course it melts right away. It doesn't stick around. Got a little bit of rain, but come on. If you ride a motorcycle, you ride a motorcycle, folks. No? You guys agree with me? Leave it in the comments below. If you ride a motorcycle, you ride a motorcycle. You take your chances with the elements. We've got partly cloudy skies. It's about 55 degrees. It's Sunday. The coronavirus seems to be everywhere. Hasn't made it to Elko yet, so. People are going about their business as much as they can, buying up all the toilet paper and uh, leaving the vitamins alone, of course. But, uh, so yeah, so this is one of my, I like to just kind of hop on the freeway here, take this down and exit, and then hop off and roll down behind the airport. And then uh, we'll just take a local cruise around and see, uh, see what's going on. But uh, look at that, and already it, it sprinkled a little bit and it's already done. So yeah, so I'm gonna do my part today. I'm gonna help with the uh, creating social distance, which I gotta be honest with you, isn't super difficult for me. I'm a bit of an introverted guy anyway. I kind of enjoy my own company. So that one's easy. All right, so then I just hop off here at the next exit and then we'll roll down behind the airport. It's about noon on Sunday, the 15th, I believe. And I'm out for a ride. Out for a ride. You know what? I'm gonna I wanna go check something out here real quick. I just saw all these. What did I see up here? Komatsu. A buddy of mine works up here. They've been just building a, a new building and it looks like the building's done. Let's go take a look. Here I'm gonna. Pop my visor for a minute. Oh wow, the building looks done. And we're gonna go take a look at it. So yeah, so look at all these mine dozers. Those things are massive. My God, Komatsu. All right, so this is their old building right here, and it's now already something else, Ford Steel, and then this is the new building, that the new Komatsu building, and then, yeah, like I said, there's the old one, so, Komatsu Equipment, yeah, I don't know too much about this, is Komatsu a manufacturer? of these big 
dozers, quite possibly. If you guys know, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Look at this. Look at this. Alright, so we'll cruise around. Alright, we got all this scrap metal just kind of laying around. I'll uh, look out for that. Try not to run into any of that stuff. So, yeah. So, okay. So, this is their new building. It looks, uh, what, three times bigger than the other one? Maybe more. Good Lord. So, yeah. So, oh, duh. There, it's printed on the, on the side of these. These big rigs. Alright, they're not big rigs, but you know what I mean. These big dozers and haulers. Pretty massive Komatsu. Alright. Alright, well anyway, that was just a slight little detour. I was just kind of curious. Looked like they'd finished the new building, and it looks like they have, so. Beautiful. Yeah, and then here's some more of their trucks down here. I drive out and get a closer look, but I'm not real crazy about riding on the gravel with my big Harley Davidson Heritage. My God, this massive. That wheel's about as big as I am. Taller, actually. Jeez. All right, cool. Cool, cool. All right, so continuing. My little, how am I avoiding the coronavirus? Well, so I am, I am implementing that social distance they talk about. They only call for six feet, but I'm gonna, See if I can keep more than that. So there's our shooting range out that way. Good place to go shoot your guns. So Reno's that way. Salt Lake is that way. Just to give you a little perspective, Reno's about five and a half hours that way. Salt Lake's about four and a half hours that way. Depending on how you drive, you can certainly make it in less time than that. But if you like to stop a couple times like I do, maybe have lunch, <laughs> then, um, yeah. So we're going to cruise down here. There's a new gas station we recently got in town and then back here this is uh, this is the old industrial section but as you'll see there's not too much down here anymore uh, coca-cola obviously has a distributing plant uh, but most of what you see down here are parking lots where people park their cars and then get get uh, get uh, a ride out to one of the mines. Mining is big business up here in Elko, Nevada. There's the old Pete's Seven Club, the old bar, little trailer park. Yeah, you see all these vehicles parked here. Those are people that are out working at the mine. Canyon Construction. And here is the Elko Regional Airport on my left. Yeah, not international. We have to do, if you want to fly out of Elko to Hawaii or uh, more of an international type flight, you have to connect in Salt Lake. There are no direct flights. But 
I, I don't even actually know. There probably aren't too many direct flights out of Elko, except maybe to Salt Lake, uh, to Vegas, which is seven hours south of here. I'm really not that close. In fact, when I was living in Southern California, in Orange County, California, I was only about four and a half hours away from Vegas. So people who live in Orange County, California or Los Angeles, California are actually closer to Vegas than I am living in the state of Nevada up here in Elko. Just a little fun fact for you. So, yeah, so there's the airport. I always enjoy cruising along this road. It's just a nice little mellow, mellow little road. Not too much traffic. Yeah, so this coronavirus, man, I don't, you know, I don't want to pile on or, uh, you know, be part of the problem. I'd rather be part of the solution, but I don't know what to make of this. Apparently, from what I'm hearing, it's just a matter of time before it makes it to our sleepy little a sleepy little town of Elko, but uh, I'm not overly freaked out and panicked. I do have a decent supply of toilet paper, so got that going for me. Got some bottled water, got some food. Should be all right for a little while. Yeah, other school districts uh, have canceled school. There's a couple in Utah. There's several in California. I think uh, Southern Idaho has canceled school, but so far Nevada is holding out when they are not canceling school. So uh, certainly that could change, but as of this recording, it's business as usual tomorrow. So Monday morning we'll be back. School will be open. So. Yeah, I think part of it is, you know, these kids need some place to go. So many of these kids, you know, that's where they get fed is at school. Um, that's where they they get taken care of. I, I don't mean like a babysitter, certainly, but that's where they go. You know, their parents have to work, so they go to school and their parents go to work. And I think a lot of parents probably aren't sure what to do with their kids if they don't have school. That's kind of my theory anyway. So, um, and we don't have any cases of the coronavirus here in Elko yet, so I guess there's no need to panic. Just be sensible, take precautions. Hopefully it'll stay that way. So spring break is just two weeks away for us. Get a nice little break from school then. And I think perhaps that is maybe what the school board and the powers that be are kind of thinking is uh, as if we can just hold on. Because the problem is if school gets closed, uh, you know, we're under contract to work those days. The kids are uh, contracted, contracted uh, sort of, to attend so many days of school. And so what a lot of people don't, don't realize is if we get that time off, we're going to have to make that up. So uh, I'm not crazy about the idea of extending the school year into the summer or having to uh, start earlier for next school year so we'll just do what we got to do here and if that means we uh, we keep plugging away well we keep plugging away so all I can do is my part and what the um, what the higher-ups require and if that means schools open then schools open and we will we will do that.
so anyway so this was just uh, just a little ride to get uh, a little escape from from uh, watching TV or checking out social media about what's going on with the coronavirus I think a nice distraction is not a bad thing so uh, hopefully anybody who checked out this video enjoyed a little break from uh, following the coronavirus panic pandemic uh, anyway so that's it we are uh, we're surviving trains running got to get supplies to the stores get those shelves stocked back up so people can hoard them so uh, so yeah so this has just been my little anti-coronavirus ride go out and do my part to follow the suggestions take the precautions and uh, I appreciate you checking out this video and coming along with me for a little ride and we now return you to your regular programs all right everybody thanks for checking out this video I do appreciate it this is JP 1970 just out for a ride doing my part to combat the coronavirus so again thanks and take care everybody be safe I'll see you in the next one